prefer rather to give still wider generalizations which will indicate causes and will not emphasize the consequences of these causes. I seek, therefore, to point out that 1. The soil of the planet itself is a major cause of disease and of contamination. For untold eons, the bodies of men and of animals have been laid away in the ground. That soil is constantly impregnated with the germs and the results of disease and this in a far subtler form than is surmised. The germs of ancient known and unknown diseases are to be found in the layers of the soil and the subsoil. These can still produce oil and trouble if presented with proper conditions. Let me state that nature never intended that bodies would be buried in the ground. The animals die and their bodies return to the dust, but return purified by the rays of the sun and by the breezes which blow and disperse. The sun can cause death as well as life, and the most virulent germs and bacteria cannot retain their potency if submitted to the dry heat of the sun's rays. Moisture and darkness foster diseases that emanate from the nerves by body from which the life aspect has been drawn. In all countries throughout the world, the literal is the mishead forms to the forming by fire, and when this has become a universal and persistent habit, we shall then see a great diminution of disease in a much healthier world. The psychological condition of the race or of a nation, as we have seen, produces a tendency to resist and to lower resistance to the cause of the disease. It can engender an ability to avoid contamination in the facility. On the doctor, I not further enlarge. Three, and living conditions in many lands also foster disease and ill health. In crowded tenements, underground homes, undernourishment, long food, evil habits of life and various occupational diseases, all contribute their quota to the general health of humanity. These conditions are universally recognized and much has been done to offset them, and much remains to be done. What has been affected to the world or the of changes, and we require rebuilding from the scientific nourishment of the youth of the race. Natural physical health vary according to the treatment goals and occupations of the people, so the people of an agricultural race will differ widely from those of a highly industrialized race. Now 